I didn't realize it was so hard to build a bridge. Mm -hmm. uh, Mayan, how did you get here? Uncle Dola wants me to take a look at the bridge. What are you guys doing here? I... I want to build a bridge here. That Bahui couldn't possibly uh. break. That way he won't be afraid to cross bridges. I can tell you're working hard, but you're also exhausted. Go home and have a rest. I can't. Mine and I already agreed. We have to build a bridge. <sighs> okay, then let's build the bridge together. <sighs> this should do it. Bamboo is excellent for building bridges. Is bamboo all we really need? Constructing a bridge, you have to use the materials at hand nearby. But, but Behoi fell when a bamboo bridge broke. You just have to stabilize the fulcrum of the bridge to guarantee the supporting force is stronger than the applied force, and the bridge won't break easily. Nai Nai, go and grab the other end of the bamboo. Ah. Do you see? This is the leverage principle at work. Bridges and bamboo are the same. When there is a person walking on top, the person's body weight produces a downward applied force. When the person gets close to the fulcrum, the downward applied force will not affect the bridge. The further away from the fulcrum, the bridge will start to be unable to support the downward applied force, and it will break. So we have to come up with a way for the bridge to be able to support the downward applied force. If one fulcrum isn't enough, can we use two? As long as the two ends are stable and strong, it doesn't matter which side you walk on, the bamboo won't bend. Great job! You solved one of the problems of bridge building. <laughs> if the two ends of the bridge are strong, you just have to strengthen the part farthest from the fulcrum. The part farthest from the stable fulcrum uh, is the middle? It's okay if there's just one person, but if there are many people on the bridge at the same time, or if they jump forcefully in the middle of the bridge, the downward applied force will suddenly increase and the bridge will still break. What should we do? It's simple! We just have to add a fulcrum in the middle of the bridge, and the bridge will become more sturdy. Um, the crabs don't seem to like the fulcrum being built in their home. Oh, no problem. There is a way. Originally, I wanted to use the bamboo in the stream to transfer the downward applied force to the ground. But we just have to do it like this to separate the downward applied force between the two banks and the middle fulcrum will secure all the same. And this way, it will not disturb the crab's home. Yeah, now I understand how to build bridges. 